Hello everyone and welcome. I have um, a brand new setup on my um, camera so hopefully this will work. Um, I have followed some directions for a do-it-yourself camera mount and uh, I'll leave a link to that and um, it was amazing. It works. Um, the only thing was that my loads, a couple people said their loads would drill in a hole so they can mount their camera on um, using pipes. Um, plumbing pipes and um, my loads wouldn't and I thought I had a drill at home but it's not a drill so I kind of took some scrunchies to hold it together and so far it's working so we'll see so today's project we are using um, th this is the project right here okay and this is using um, butterfly basics and watercolor wings and watercolor wings is my main focal um, image and stamp set I'm using because these are for some swaps that I am participating in and just really simple and cute now some of the steps have already been done so you're going to need um, an eight and a half let me see, yeah an eight and a half by five five and a half sheet what is that Okay, put it in the drawer. And um, you're going to score it at four and a quarter, which I have done. And this is using the new um, Thick Whisper White cardstock, and I just love it. Okay. Then we have our Island Indigo piece here. And that's what I need. All I need is one. And then we have our um, Whisper White piece. This is the regular Whisper White. And I took the Butterfly Basics. Um, this image here to stamp. And I stamped the image first. Then I ran the paper through the um, brick wall embossing folder. I just love this embossing folder and the texture that it gives. This, uh, you can have it going this way, but I like it going this way. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. A lot of possibilities with that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. Okay. Let's, hold on. Let me lose. I'm going to use this one here. Now this is similar to Fast Fuse. So we do have Fast Fuse. I actually need to pick some up. You want, because this um, has this raised image, you really want a, a good adhesive. Okay. Let me check out it all. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and you can use your regular Tombow for this. And then we're going to adhere it to our card base. Now, when I'm doing swaps, I like to try to keep it as simple as possible. If the instructions is too too much, I don't participate. I'm hoping I'm doing this one right because it says three layers, but I included the base. And there was another swap where they said they want three layers, but that doesn't include the card base. So, I'm hoping that I am following the instructions. If not, oh, well, these are cute cards anyway. I just still need this. So now I use the Butterfly Wings and Island Indigo ink here to stamp my image. And I actually, I still need to do the body of this. But what I did here, there's, there's three stamps that you need to complete, actually four. 
to complete this butterfly. You are going to need this image here, this image, and this image here. Now you can um, um, experiment with different colors of ink. I kept this card really simple, so all I used was the Island Indigo. So for the first image using this stamp here, what I did was I stamped off on another sheet of paper twice. And then on a, this, so this is third general, generational stamping. Then for this image here, I stamped off once and then um, stamped right here. So that's second generational. And this is going to trash. And then for this image right here, I kept it um, being the bold um, color. So now what we need is the body of the butterfly. Um, a lot of people have said that they found success in um, stamping the body when they finished cutting out the main image. So I'm just going to turn this around so I know it's upside down for you guys, but I need it to face me. And there's my block. So now these stamps are photopolymer, so you are going to need um, some clear mount blocks. Okay. Okay. And there goes the body. Okay, now this um, ink pad right here, this is the Island Indigo. Now this is the old um, ink, ink pad right here with the um, felt um, surface. We do have new ones that have this, um, the foam pads. Most of them I have except for, this is the Regal's collection. So the Regal's collection is the one I don't have yet. But I've been buying them uh, one by one. So, okay, so that's there. So now we're going to use some glue dots now this is so cute um the glue dots we have at stampin up but you can buy this i bought this at michael's and if you can put your glue dots in it and then you just pull and then you go to how many you need and then just take it off i really like that it's so cute and so now Sorry, the lighting in here is a little bit wonky. And then... Oopsie. Put it in the trash can. Yeah. Okay. We are, I guess you could, well, it's not really spring cleaning, but we're cleaning out stuff in our house. Yes, yeah, she said. And I want to place this right here. And then I just want to fluff up the wings. You okay? Huh? You okay? Yeah, just, just my dog thing. Okay. So I just want to fluff this up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiment down. I'm using You're So Kind. And I'm using this little pick right here. And I cut this out using the hand-picked framelits. So, once again, I'm going to stamp facing me. I guess that just works out better. Let me just try to get some more light in here. Oh my god. There's a well, there's a button. Um, oh, here we go. That's okay. Alrighty. And we're going to use the Island Indigo again. Okay, we'll need a different one. 
one. The best thing I love the one well the one thing I love about these is that you can just see through them so you can see what you're doing. Okay. So now I want to stick this down. Okay, and then the last thing we need for this are some rhinestones and I'm use my little pokey tool to get these up. okay so there you have it that is today's card i hope you enjoy if you like it make sure you hit the like button so i know um i'm also gonna have a project sheet on my blog at stamping with candace um, .com, so that way you can recreate this project for yourself also so thank you for joining me today bye bye